All right, y'all, here we have us. Some chicken, jello, and some garlic salt. Now I'm gonna show you the most simple way to prepare this. This is no rocket science. This is not a hard task. There's multiple ways you can do this, and I'm gonna show you one of the ways that I do this. So here we have us some little grocery bags that you weigh up your vegetables and fruits produce so what we're going to do is open up the chicken and this is how i do this now you can do it however you want to do it but as long as we get the basics down so i'm just going to cut this chicken literally in just chunks so what i'm going to start doing is go, go straight down that's what we're going to do so we're gonna just cut these chunks like this. So that's two pieces. And we're gonna go down the gut of them until we get a bunch of chunks. And now you can cut these chunks in the halves if you want to, but this is just how I do it, you know. You ain't gotta have them big if you if you realize that you know bigger channels are not you know biting or you know cut them in half and make them smaller. So this is how I do this. All right, so now you see our chunks. Let's get this out the way. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the we're gonna open up the garlic. I want y'all to see me opening up the garlic. All right, and just remember whenever you bring trash, take your trash with you. Do not mess up the banks. And we're gonna open up the jello. Now, before we dump the garlic and the jello in there, what we're gonna do is just gonna open it real quick. And we're gonna take those produce bags I, would, I just showed you not too long ago, and we're gonna open it up. Now, once you have the produce bag open, you take your chicken chunks. Put them inside the produce bags. Way bags, scale bags, whatever. I call them produce bags. Now you take your jello, you put it in there. Now you don't need you generous amount, but you don't need the whole thing. And you take the garlic, as you can see, and put it in that bag too. Generous amount. Now you do is just take it, swirl it around. Now must I remind you that if using this <laughs> your hands will turn red now you do not have to let this bait sit out overnight so it can sit in there good you can use this bait immediately right away that flavor sit on that bait so good that you can use it right now and that there you have it just like that so we're gonna take the chunk out and boom there you have it cherry jello garlic chicken breast for your good old cats, y'all stay tuned.